here. I am the owner of Meridian Counseling and I am excited to start vlogging. So I'm going to be making a few short videos explaining different topics and kind of adding the video component to my website because I think it's really important and people learn in different ways. So for today I wanted to talk a little bit about spirituality and why it's really important to incorporate spirituality into therapy and how it really helps clients shift their perspective of what has happened to them in their lives. So for me personally, I incorporate spirituality into a lot of the work that I do with my clients. In my experience, it has really helped people create a different relationship to things that they have gone through in their life. So when I say spirituality, for me, I incorporate Buddhism and Buddhist philosophy and helping clients really explore how things in their life have happened for them and not to them. And through that, I help them change the relationship that they have to suffering that they've gone through in their lives. The reason that I started incorporating spirituality more into my work was because I actually went through a pretty significant life change about two years ago and I had been in therapy before and personally had you know grown a lot but I was kind of stuck like I noticed myself replicating the same patterns the same relationships I had the insight and the awareness that I needed to change certain things but I didn't really have that deeper meaning that would really cause a paradigm shift for me to show up differently in my life and during that time, I started learning a little bit about Buddhism and really doing a lot of research and reading on different things about, you know, reincarnation, and like meaning of relationships and soulmate relationships. And for me personally, that caused such a drastic shift in the way that I started to show up in my life. It helped me really make meaning of a lot of like unresolved conflicts, a lot of unresolved relationships that I was struggling to let go of. And it really helped me gain a lot of insight into myself and the areas that I needed to really dig into and work on in order to become my highest self. And throughout that process, I kind of started to realize this is the shift that a lot of my clients really need. Um, I personally specialize in working with addiction and a big part of recovery from addiction is having a spiritual experience and having a spiritual awakening, for lack of better words. That's kind of what AA really um, preaches and helps people come to throughout going through the 12 step process. So I really realized like it needs to be kind of integrated in a way that doesn't threaten people's religious beliefs, doesn't make them feel uncomfortable, doesn't impose your own you know, beliefs, but really just helps them make a different meaning of experiences. So a few things that I found that really helped me in kind of understanding how to incorporate this into my therapeutic work was I read a book by Dr. Brian Wise. He is a psychiatrist and he actually specializes in hypnosis for phobias and addiction. And throughout reading some of his books, um, Many Lives, Many Masters, Only Love is Real, I really started digging into past life hypnosis regressions. And what those are, are they're basically very deep meditative states where a client comes in and they go into a deep trance by being hypnotized. And during that process, certain clients actually start recalling things that are stored deep in their unconscious. And Dr. Brian Wise actually identified this as being something that comes from past lives. So kind of looking at reincarnation in that way. And what he noticed when clients were in a deep trance, they actually started to um, recall things that hadn't happened but also in this in this current life but also were experiencing when they would come back to and go out into their daily lives higher levels of satisfaction decreased phobias their addictions were starting to improve and a lot of the symptoms that they were coming in for started to get better and so he actually specializes now in doing past life regressions and for me kind of exploring that and understanding it, I actually went and did a past life regression of my own. And in that I had a very distinct vision of myself in a different life 
which um, mirrored certain dynamics that I have in my current family of origin and really highlighted things that I need to work on now. And the reason that I think this is so important and powerful and interesting isn't because I necessarily believe past lives are real. I don't know if they are real or not real, but what it does is it creates a different storyline, a different narrative for the person to experience what they're going through in a different way. So by having that vision, having that experience and really seeing a dynamic between me and my parents, but kind of in the vision of somebody else, during my hypnosis, it really helped me understand, oh, I need to change how I show up and I need to set healthier boundaries around my relationship with my mom. I need to kind of distance myself and stop getting in the middle of their relationship and really kind of protect myself and step out of that dynamic. It's not my karma. It's not my relationship to be in that place and be in the middle of them. And so one big thing for me is whether or not reincarnation or past lives are real it doesn't really matter it's just more of that paradigm shift and so a big thing that I've started doing in my own work with clients is really helping them explore different relationships as soulmate relationships meaning that maybe this person came into your life to teach you something not necessarily always an easy lesson and sometimes it's actually pretty painful and conflict ridden but there's something in this dynamic in this relationship that you really need to change and learn from or else you're going to continue to manifest the same thing over and over again and what i've seen with a lot of my clients is that gives them a lot of meaning and allows them to really move forward from certain relationships that are no longer serving them and really internalize and grow in that way so that's been a big component of incorporating spirituality into my work is really exploring the relationships and different soulmate karmic relationships and framing it in that way to my clients. Another thing that I've really incorporated in regards to spirituality is the Buddhist philosophy of suffering is always for your higher good and there's a lesson in it. So nothing in life happens to you, it happens for you. So I always, always try to frame certain traumas and certain things people have gone through as this was extremely painful, it was extremely unfair, I completely understand that, but what did you learn from this experience that has made you a better person or made you more aware of the world or made you more empathetic or compassionate that people who haven't gone through this might not experience or understand? And that has really helped people shift their relationship from being a victim of circumstance to being more empowered in their life because most people don't view suffering as something that can actually help them grow and become more empowered in their life. And so that for me has been something that has been powerful in the work that I've done in my own life and I think is an important way to frame traumas especially or suffering that clients have gone through in their lives as being a part of their strength and their growth and something that leads them towards their higher purpose than something that has held them back and made them broken or a victim to life. So those are just two small ways that I incorporate spirituality into my work. I think it's a very important component to therapy and honestly a really component, important component to long-term change and manifestation of the life that people really dream of and wanna live. And so, if you guys have any thoughts on spirituality, how you incorporate it into your work, or if you are a client and you have any questions about how that works or how it looks in therapy, feel free to either send me an email or comment on this video below. And please let me know what other vlog topics